What's up, y'all? This is Dwayna, aka Glamazon 1026, and welcome back to The Glam Room. Today, we are going to be filming with the NYX Bear With Me collection. I just picked them up at Ulta. I'm really excited to use them, so stay tuned to see how I use them and what I think, okay? But before we go, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click the notification bell so that you are part of the Glam Fam. The Glam Fam is the most fabulous, the most glamorous community here on YouTube, and I want you guys to be a part of it because I got some great content that I've already put up, and I got some great content that is going to come in the future. Go do that really quickly, and then we will get into this race. We are here, my eyes are done, my brows are done, and we are going to get started with the NYX Bear With Me line. This is something that I've been seeing on like TikTok and um, Instagram, and I was really like interested because NYX used to have a concealer that I loved and they discontinued it. So I've been looking for a concealer that is kind of like that. This is kind of like that, but it ain't really like that because this is, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's just get right into it. There's nothing on my face yet um, besides like, my brows and my eyes. So I'm going to start with the Bear With Me primer. I got this little sample. Um, I believe the sample was like either eight or $10. I can't remember. The whole big thing, I think it's like $18. And I don't want to spend that much because what if I didn't like it? And then also I just bought the e.l.f. jelly primer, the jelly grip primer. Oh, this, this is jelly too. This is a jelly consistency. It's not as tacky as the e.l.f. or the Milk Hydro Grip, but it feels pretty good. And I'm happy I didn't buy the um, full size because I feel like this would probably be the least favorite out of the three. I also felt like today would be a good day to test this because my skin has been being crazy lately like it has been like just breaking out and I have been um just being bad and picking it and so I'm having like all these little bumps and stuff and I just ugh, it's just it's just terrible I got the concealer in the shades deep golden sand and tan first we're gonna start with the deep golden hey ma Hey, I thought you were naked. No, I'm filming. <laughs> oh, no, no, I have on a t-shirt, but it's almost my skin color. Right. Lena, what, what size are your, your cabinet handles? Um, Like the the length of them? Yeah. They're probably about the four or five handles. inches. Lena, where you get all that eyebrow from, man? I drew her. <laughs> I'm like, ain't nobody in this probably have no eyebrows like that. Please mind your business. Except Respect my privacy. Huh? Respect my privacy. All right, so I'm going to pick up my uh, clear palette and I'm just going to put a little bit of the deep golden shade on it. And I'm going to use a concealer brush to apply it to the parts of my skin that um, are just, just really bugging out. So down here, over here, up there, that's actually a burn from the hot comb over here like i'm just we are struggling my face my face is struggling okay put that there All right, so now I'm just going to use this beauty sponge to blend everything out. I'm going to leave one eye not done so that you guys can see the difference between the eye that is concealed and the eye that is not. Already you can see the difference between the spots that I covered with the um, concealer. They look really good. All right, so here you can see this is the concealed eye. This is the non-concealed eye. Obviously, I have a little dark circleage going on under here, but the concealer really does a good job of covering it up, and I appreciate that. So 
let me get the other eye done and I will see you in a little bit. All right, here we are. We have this first layer of concealer down. It looks really good. I'm going to put on some foundation and then we'll finish off the rest of my face and I'll show you like what else we're going to do with the NYX Bear With Me um, collection. Okay, I am back. My face is foundationed. And as you can see, I got pretty good coverage from this foundation, but the places where I concealed look really like, they look really good. Anyway, I'm going to be using the sand and the tan today to highlight just because I want to see the difference between the two of them. <laughs> um, so let's start with the sand. Sand up at the top. Okay, that's sand. No. Okay, so it looks like one is just pink and one is yellow. One is This is a pinker undertone. And that's a yellow or undertone. So I think I could use either of them. So we'll just put that down. Mix two of them together. Once I put on my bronzer, we should be fine. But she's looking good so far. The next product that we're gonna do on the Bear With Me is the Luminous Cheek Serum. And this is in the shade Sienna Bronze. So it's like my, you know, dusty orange, burnt orange br blush that we, that we love so much here on this channel. So this is it right there in the middle. And I'm just going to use a brush to put that on my face. So we're blending that into the bottom of the highlighter and it's just gonna be a really nice compliment for the eye look. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on. I'm gonna put it directly on my face this time. It's better off to blend that with the finger, so keep that in mind. All right, y'all, we're going to finish off the face with the Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Multitasking Spray. This reminds me of the Smashbox Primer Water. And at $10, it is only a fraction of the cost because I believe I used to spend $32 on the Smashbox Primer Water and I used to get it when it was um, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty and um, get it for half off for $16. So, $10. And we're just going to let everything marinate. All right, I will catch you at the end. Y'all, this is the finished look with the NYX Bear With Me collection. I am loving this concealer. Like I said before, the concealer that they had before, I can't remember what it's called. It was like total coverage or something, but it was a really thick, um, full coverage concealer and they discontinued that like i literally can only find it in one random beauty supply store in miami literally i go to that beauty supply store to see if the end is probably expired because they haven't made it in such a long time but these are really really nice replacements for that um that concealer and it says that it's infused with some type of mushroom i don't know what that mushroom does but if it gives me this coverage then it's good because my under eyes look really good they look really good they look really good so um i like the concealer i like the blush i wish it came in more than three colors because this is the only one that i feel like would complement my skin tone i think if they have more colors it would be there'll be more options for people with deeper skin tones. Last but not least is the primer. The primer is probably my least favorite out of the bunch. It's okay, like you can get it if you want it. If you are going to spend that money though, I would definitely say go get the e.l.f. 
super grip primer or power grip primer. I can't remember what it's called. The one that the new one that just came out in the green thing. Um, I think that would be a much better spend of your money than the Bear With Me primer. Before we go, one critique that I do have about this is that it gets dirty because like I didn't know that. I thought I will I will have to go in and clean that because I don't like when things look dirty like that is very annoying to me. I would prefer if it if it had a um a wand, but I'm okay. Like I could clean it. It's just an extra. Like I don't like that, but that's just me. Okay, so don't worry about that. It's not gonna prevent me from using this. I just know that when I'm using the product, after I use it, I need to wipe the little scooch thing. I need to wipe it off before I put it back in the cap so that it does stay clean and it doesn't look like this one does. I don't like that. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up down below. Make sure you comment and tell me which one of these products are you looking at? Which one did you like not have your eye on but now that I use it, you're like, ooh, I wanna try that? You let me know in the comments down below, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can become a part of the most fabulous, the most glamorous community here on YouTube, the Glam Fam, and know exactly when I upload. Also, please do not forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok at Glamazon1026, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.